This is Paul Miller from Precision Record Pressing, and this is my question for Aram. Running an independent punk hardcore label, I'd imagine that gives you a pretty strong ability to develop and maintain principles, whether they're ethical or political. So my question is, how do you think about the art of compromise as you're entering into a broader corporate environment? Paul, great question. Uh, before I get to it, awesome to meet you in person and thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, so to answer your question, I compromise way more than I did uh, when I ran a record label. It's made me a much, much more successful uh, business person. And it's also made me more successful at my relationship. So uh, I'll, I'll unpack that for you. When I was running a record label, and I ran like three record labels. Uh, I ran Anchor Records, React Records, and then uh, little known, little used UXO Records. I did not compromise at all. And in fact, I kind of viewed the process of putting out someone's record, not, not like a, this is your record that I was putting out. I always kind of viewed it as like, it's, it's our, our record we're putting out. Like you write the music, you write the lyrics, you, you, you're, you record it and all that. But the packaging, I'm not just going to have some band like present me their packaging. And if we're going to add something into it, like let's say we add in like stickers or we add in some kind of writing or something like that, I'm going to be super involved in that. And I, my compromise during my record labels was ultra low, which made them less successful records uh, because like I wasn't like able to work with like a generalized population of lots of different bands. I was working with a very specific bands that I had a specific kind of relationship with. And also it made me less successful with the relationship where you had to be really like willing to like partner with someone that is as um, firm in his beliefs as I am. We're pulling from a really small pool of people who are going to buy our records and we're selling to a very small audience. I couldn't really do too much for a band on, on any of my record labels. Like, yeah, like we could go and sell a couple thousand records, but we were, I wasn't going to be able to like take them to like super national levels or do any of those things. So I could totally stick to what, exactly what I wanted to when I was doing those, uh, doing those records. And there was a level of success, whether or not it was super helpful for the bands. I don't know, like if they were work, willing to work with a record label who was willing to compromise more, um, they probably could have had bigger records. When it comes to the company, I'm super willing to, to compromise. In punk and hardcore, I know exactly what I like. I know exactly what I believe. I know exactly what I want to represent, what kinds of bands, what kind of sounds, what kind of ideals. Working in the business world, it's not as black and white as that. It, it really has to do with like, I know what I can offer. I know what our company can do for people and how we can help people is way, way broader. So I have to compromise a ton. I compromise on approach. I compromise on who we're going to talk to, to compromise on how we're going to talk to them. I compromise on the subject matter. What I don't compromise on is the nature of what our offerings are. And I don't compromise very often on price point. Price point I'm pretty sticky about. Where I won't compromise is I won't work with anyone if I don't think we can make a difference. And what I mean by making a difference is that we are increasing empowerment. We're creating, helping uh, create stronger leaders. We're creating a stronger culture. We're helping com people communicate more. If someone wants us to come in and do a training and coaching and it's just like, um, you know, kind of check the box. No, like I'm not doing that. But most other things, there's a lot of leeway where I'm willing to work with people. And it means that I have like way stronger relationships with people. I, um, it's less combative as you know, when I was running a record label, it's like really, really, um, I think it's very, very helpful for our clients. It's very, very helpful for us. So by being able to compromise and do it in a way where it's like, I can still stick to my morals. We're not going to do anything unless we think it's going to make a real difference. But a, there's a lot of compromise outside of that. We're able to help more people. We're able to work with more clients. We're able to make a bigger impact. And we're able to do things on a much bigger level and continuing to scale up level. Our company has grown exponentially in the past number of years. And the heart of that is, yeah, I know exactly what I want to believe. And I'm going to stick to that, but I'm willing to compromise a ton of things around that. Uh, it's the liberty of being in a punk record label or a punk band where I can like really stick to my guns. And that's cool. Like I, I, I want to do that. And it was super awesome to be able to be in that space. 
I could look back and also have like, you know, like, hey, you know, there's some like minor regrets and some very big regrets. But when I can really stick to my guns from like the punk and hardcore space, awesome, because I totally know the landscape. I know what I'm offering. I know what it sounds like. I know what the political positions are, all of that kind of stuff that I'm coming from. What I'm doing now is a company that has the ability to make much bigger level, actual real deal change um, and really, really improve working conditions for people and people's base abilities to like enjoy their job, be good leaders, communicate. I take that super seriously. And that means I need to be able to compromise. The story is not about me. The story is not about what do I think. The story is about what can the company do? What can our company do? That means there's got to be a lot more voices involved. So I don't know. Someone could look at that and be like, oh man, you're selling out. I don't know. You should like hop into my seat and try and run a company that's like working on a global perspective. And I think you'd probably be eating shit pretty fast if you uh, tried to just stick to your guns entirely and not change. From my perspective, I think compromising and working with people and really, really listening and pushing yourself is not just part of the human experience and, or even smart business. It's part of actually being useful and doing good things. So with that, um, yeah, compromise is the heart of most things we do. We don't compromise what we do, but there's a lot of other stuff to make uh, real shifts with.